are clouded with shadows of doom. Even this peaceful valley seems to hold hidden dangers. Your curses cannot touch me. Your weapons will not harm me. I will... Warrior, put reins upon your battle lust and ride it. Do not be written by it. I do not know your face. Yes, think. What are your last... I remember the fire fog. Filling my throat. Wading through a sea of blood and meat. And then the Valkyries plucked you from the Hellvigor, which leads lesser men to Hell, and brought you here, to glorious Asgard. Asgard. This place is truly like no other. And... Uh, this is not a dream? Am I supposed to fight you? We will fight together, and become part of the greatest army ever assembled. But first, go eat and drink among the gods. Take your place in the Hall of the Slain. Your bravery has earned it. Thor! Stormbringer! I offer you my blade! Odin! Ravenfeed!
Show me what lies ahead. Some stone has been moved. The light's purse has shifted. Harvey, Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Harvey? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you?
I have known you, Tyr, longer than any in Asgard. And I trust you as a brother, but my present worries I cannot share. I understand. The burden of kingship must often be shouldered alone. I will need your strength in the coming days, to anchor me, to challenge me, to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will, as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. What if an invader was trying to weaken the well's defenses? Are we meant to intervene? The integrity of this sacred place must be preserved. But whether we be a bane or a boon remains to be seen. There are two targets the light must strike, but only one stream. How do two farms share one source of water? By splitting the stream.
about this before, Harvey? Once or twice. The light has found its mark. The stone is lit. Well is open to us. I will lead. There's no wolf alive I can trust. Harvey, stop! Out of my way, Tyr! I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Harvey. You? you act as though possessed by the spirit of another. I am many in the one, Tyr. 
the yeller, the spear charger, the masked one. I am Longbeard and Shaggy Cloak. I am the Wanderer and the Striver. And now I am the foe of the wolf. Nothing can change this now. Whatever mind drives you, Javi, you mustn't kill here. Shed no innocent blood in this sacred place. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down. Loki. Harvey, over here. You entered the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for. I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the Builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful? Calm? Quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? I asked you a question, Loki. Is the Builder ready or not? The Wolf, Mad One. What have you done to the Wolf? The Beast lives for now. Test my patience further, and I may fashion a cap from its coat. There's no need, Harvey. No need. I only worry about the purity of the well. That's all, and no more. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow, not far from here. Your raven may find the way.
found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing Hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of Hooker magic, but this is my own technique. And it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint? As many as you can. Be careful with that jar. It's fragile. Easy. Remember, just place it. Don't break it. Do take care. We can replace the paint, but the time to prepare it is lost. That's well enough. Exactly the right spot. What now, Builder? Perhaps you should move out of the way. Atop that rock, the view will be much better. There. Will that do? It will indeed. Hold, hold. And there it is. A thing of beauty. The runes you painted conjured the shield. They did. And if all goes well, it will protect your allies and roast your enemies. Show me. With pleasure. Draw some invaders out from the woods and into the shield. Alive, of course. They must be alive. The barrier will not harm me as I cross? You have my word, Harvey. Stinking shits, skulking about like cowards. Am I so fearsome that you hide like mice in a farmer's field? Like moths to a flame. Come, you father's curse. I'm one, and you're many. What have you got to lose? The fools, they run towards their doom. Your shield is failing, Builder. They are passing through. Builder, your shield summons an army, but it's as weak as your word. This is not what you 
Sour fruit, not as sweet as you promised. It helped. The shield worked wonders. It worked well enough. Impressive, but unstable. Don't fear, my friend. The problem is no more. I have mixed the proper solution. With enough materials and the right incentive, I pledged to build a tower so tall it would shield all of Asgard. Materials we can find, that is no issue. What incentive do you mean? Oh, just a trifle. Nothing grand. I only want Freya as my wife and queen. Why the Queen of Asgard? Is it your intent to rule at her side? Nothing so bold. I would be happy to simply bask in her beauty. She can govern the realm however she sees fit. Freya is not mine to barter like a bale of wheat. I will ask her what she desires. Do what you must, but my price stands firm. No Freya, no shield. I have no other needs. And you have no other friends, so tread lightly here.
useless one. Why has this noble stag wandered so far from the tree Yggdrasil? The sight of this majestic creature gives my own heart wings. I will follow in the same spirit. As well, has some disaster befallen the tree of life? Or is this simply a gathering of the hallowed herd? roused from his thriving slumber. Does this wild run come from a place of joy or fear? Finally, Eikthunir, from whose horns flow the rivers Set and Vet. So this was the purpose behind their prancing, an offering to their caretaker. Thank you, noble hearts. I will put this gift to good use and remain your steadfast protector.
Do you see? They will attack on sight here. Oh, my God. 
Watch my back. should not be seen in this area.
This area is off limits. Is that the same wolf as before? How did it grow so fast? Look at the size of this beautiful creature. Impressive, isn't it? Clear eyes, strong haunches. It must come from powerful stock. You fools. It could swallow the moon next month if it continues to grow like this. I know your mind, Javi, but this wolf is not your enemy. The signs of Ragnarok, when it comes, will be clear for all to see. Tyr, you roll bones in a game you do not understand. That may be, but I'll assume the risk. If there's a price to be paid, I'll pay it. It's the Jotnar that trouble us now. Have you spoken with the Builder? The Builder, yes. Is Freya nearby? She's teaching Thor about organizing armies. A battle they're both losing. Come along then. You must all hear what I have to say. You spoke with the Builder. You saw his work. I did. And the sacred water? Was it put to use? It was. Your tongue is shorter than your temper today, Harvey. Indeed. These markings are your warriors. Now here we have the four corners of the sky, held up by Ostri, Vestri, Northri, Sothri. Enough of this sorcery, woman. Just point me towards the enemy and I will handle them. Javi, you look troubled. The Builder gave me a demonstration of his magic. He conjured a shield that killed invaders on contact. That would do well for us. But your expression says otherwise. I fear the price is too high. What does he want? You. Me? Does he take us for slavers? I will smash his skull till he shits out brains! Now hold on, everyone! Let's wait. Do not finish that thought. 
What was your reply? I told him it was your choice alone. You didn't refuse him outright? I evaded his question to gain us time. Time to devise a better idea. One that does not involve selling off your queen, I trust. How about I beat on his liver till he builds us a wall for free? Might we consider... I will not barter with my body. That would be a first. Hold on. I've got it. The blunt end of my hammer on his family stones. You are overthinking this, all of you. Give this builder an impossible task, a deadline of, say, nine days. When he forfeits, as he no doubt will, Freya remains free, and we may finish his work as intended. He would be mad or stupid to agree. You underestimate men of intellect, Lord of Storms. The Builder is a proud man. He won't back down from a challenge. I do not like this. Nor do I, but we must act. Loki, bring this offer to the Builder. Your will is my deed, Rune Writer. You grapple with forces outside your control. You were eager to see the deal done. We're Asir. She's Vani. Watch out! Keep your distance! The wolf! Shit! Tyr, stand back! I'll get it! <laughs> Mine! Stand clear! I will catch it. The size of that beast! <laughs> I'll sharpen oh, my man. axe with your teeth, beast! The final blow is mine. Do not fight the beast! Leave it to me! Are you my doom? Are you destined to destroy me? I am the Death Walker. I am the living ghost. I cannot die. You see which is stronger. Your fate, I will.
spare your life. I've warned you well, and look where it has led! Savi, stop! Stay, your ex! Out of my way, Loki! You swore an oath... ...to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood! What? He is my son! Dear, you've cared for this wolf. You will be its jailer. Take it to Lingby. Find it there. Make sure it never leaves the island. I can speak with the dwarf Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki, there will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no. The sky is darkened like an ill omen. My impossible task grows more urgent.
This rump cloud, he can't just wander about Asgard, poking his pecker into every cabin he pleases. I was only curious, Dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The Dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? What were you and the Builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer. You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. That I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The humans will survive Ragnarok in force, taking shelter in Hutimir's forest, eating morning dew until their race is renewed. The humans are a hearty people indeed, much stronger than we give them credit for. So, you asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hooger. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Aesir and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft a cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? My thanks and my hospitality. What more could you need? Ugh. You cannot barter with a man who's squeezing your balls. You may always return to the land of fire, Ivaldi, and die as your brothers did, roasted on a spit. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and... A cat's footsteps? 
and the root of a mountain. How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, Dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world. With lore passed down from Nii and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover. I understand. I will return shortly. Valim, Bivor, Bavor, Bombur, Nori, An and Annar, I, Mjolvitnir, Veig and Gandalver, Vindalver, Thre. Looks like the right place. There is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. The seed will not sprout root until I get it into some water. He has made the base already. The builder works fast, a bit too fast. I must retrieve the root for Ivaldi before it takes hold. This is the mountain I seek. Yeah, you like that zone? Alright. See if you can help me figure out this puzzle. Great North Hall, a golden cat sits patiently gazing upon many tall towers. Oh, but look with it, but follow without fear. Look, leap is. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. How is he building that tower so quickly? There's more to this stranger than meets the eye. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate it. PlayStation 5 is amazing. Oh, that sucks. Great Norse Hall, Golden Cat, many tall towers. Go, Sudan. Statues. Who put you up here, little cat? No, I found it. So that's how it is. Lead the way, nimble one. knew you could capture a sound. Let's see what you can make of this, Ivaldi. What the hell is wrong with my camera?
Be my eyes, Sunan. What the fuck? Yeah, look at the horse that gives me. It gives me a big ass friggin' moose or whatever this thing is. It's just hilarious. It reminds me of Lord of the Rings. The elf dude that rode the big ass moose. came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. <laughs> Oh shit, Freya's pissed. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you are in a trap is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? You are the queen of Asgard, the host of Folkvanger. The shepherd of the slain. Of course I care. Yet you act as if I'm some treasure to be traded about. I was wrong to use you like that. I will confront the builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology. But it will suffice for now. Once the builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I will see to it that he is punished. Blood oath be damned. Survey the area, Sunan.
He finished the tower. Have we been outplayed? Uh oh. That's not good. Greybeard! I see you there! Thor! Why do you call? A challenge! Will you face me in flighting? I will accept your challenge and teach you a lesson through humiliation. Now speak, that I might hear the strength of your convictions. Flight me, all father. It's time to perform. I'm the ruler of thunder. You're caught in the storm. Cross the water and meet me. I'll show you my might. Oh, beware what you ask for. I will finish the fight. Not bad, old man. I have slain giants and monsters. I am endlessly brave. I am adored by the masses from warrior to slave. You are the worst of the Aesir, a coddled old clod. I'm as wise as an owl. You're a fool of a god. Hmm. You were lucky. Shame serves as your shadow wherever you roam. Your failure's the point, and I'll hammer it home. You're a simpering greybeard who will soon meet his end. Well, your victory is not what my visions portend. Uh, better than I thought. Describe defeat for me, Thor. I do not know the taste. This setback will only drive me to get better, to get stronger, and I will return and crush you with my wit. Like what you see? Quite the tower. Need your eyes, my friend.
Why? Because I'm sick of them calling after 8 o'clock. It's ridiculous. Best not to draw attention. Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. The tower is functional. One room remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I tire of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved. Why does she leer so wickedly? She starved, Builder. Hungry for you. Eager to consume you like a moist and dainty morsel. Splendid. She'll be pleased to know I have an appetite to match her own. Our union will be a feast of the senses. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral? Asleep or awake, her eyes swim with naught but the image of you. She is blind to all else. Blinded by love or disgust? I do not grasp your meaning. Quit stalling and kiss her, dung meat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious. 
Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? <laughs> Something wrong. Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real Freya or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need you to... You have next to nothing, Essir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice. But that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. We have taken you for granted, it is true. That ends now. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I am with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guest closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. Footprints. Large footprints. <laughs> mm, I feel stronger already. We have found the worm's lair. More deception. The builder will suffer for this. Loki, we need to talk. I must speak. What is it, Harvey? Loki, did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? Did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him? Did you invite him here? I... I did. Yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki, or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, High One. More dear. Go ahead. That's cold comfort. A quiet crossing might be best.
I have the paint. Then let us paint like shadows in the light. It appears we've underestimated him. On your advice, find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. I live to serve, Raven Feeder. survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsak! Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoogr makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. Godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker. I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slab had its son. Their lives were the price of their arrogance. Oh, damn it. I could get a better shot at his head from above. From above? This is not good. You shape the nine worlds, but you do not control them. Control them? I only wish to survive them.
Your bones will form the cornerstone of a new world ruled by Yodna. Your time has passed. There's no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! dead and his magic dies with him does that worry you trickster what are you implying were you behind this you dishonorable truth tangler what do you know of honor freya you've bedded more men than all the halls in midgard you're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites you fathered a wolf cop I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own I empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. my eyes.
Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I've been to Asgard. The seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form. Lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two. But we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts. His loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok. The destruction of the world. The end of all time. And the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir. And how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Oh. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fight grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared.
trap. will join us on this wild hunt? Which among you hunger for a challenge, eh? Who here has an appetite for adventure? Hail, Andrimnir. Off again to hunt the immortal boar? Yes. Yet again, Seirimnir has risen from his bones and escaped my kitchen. It should prove to be a vigorous chase. You never tire of tracking this beast. <laughs> no hunt is more thrilling. This meat has no equal. Come. Done, Lord Keeper. I will save you the juiciest cut. Come, you brave butchers. Let us prepare a true hero's feast.
I should be cautious.
Odenblur. Who shot you up in here? You should be free. Nothing less than a guard could confine this ancient creature against her will. Was it the trickster? Some other menace? Or do I imagine ill omens where none exists? Bring forth new things to amaze us all. Thank you. 
What is it? Harvey, you must let me through! Why? What do you want with the Well of Helheimer? To return to my wife. I don't know. Our village was destroyed. I died with my axe. She did not. Good warrior. Helheimer is no place you want to be. I have given you the honor of joining my warriors. Do not be fickle. If it were your love, you would move the Nine Realms to reunite with her. You care not for us warriors. I challenge you to a duel. If, if I win, fulfill my wish. If you win, send me to hell because I'm an unfit warrior. That is an unfair fight. I cannot win, and you cannot survive. Who am I to trick a trickster? Come, Harvey. Are you a prick and a coward? Grant my wish, you soft cock! <laughs> I raised armies while you were shitting your rags. Come, lose and take your place in hell. Come on, then. My lord. My god, he climbs so slow. is done and daylight remains we have earned a drink for our troubles i think but say you brothers a drink i to drown our creation in praise a world fashioned anew from old flesh do you recall the size of old emir when we began our work a corpse as tall as the day is long spanning the abyss genungaga oh yes oh yes his pliant flesh by which we made the fertile soils of the earth. And from his blood came oceans and the seas. I remember well. For hills and mountains we piled his bones. From his beard came trees. From his hair the grass. His domed skull we opened. For the blue heavens above. Crowded by clouds of brain matter. A new world made from an old life ended. Skull, brothers. I raise my horn to you both. Brother Odin, you are silent. Is something wrong? Is our work not worthy of praise? <laughs> what the hell?
Oh, no!
be blocked from the other side.
Best brace my hood here. Way that he perfect. Who? On bead. So we do as both yet. We should on lava no. Food the lava. Follow me to the casks. Oh, I'll follow you then. Sorry, the ale is all gone. What's going on? Is this earth you out? Hey! Let us end It weren't wise to let those Mercians nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. Set to here. No defense now. What are you waiting for? These tunnels run deep. Was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln?
guards here are vigilant. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrook without... fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. Bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate pass in this way.
job to beat this key. Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. Happened. Were you bit? Oh, yes. Attack! brothers and sisters return to the very soil of this sacred land. No more. You're going back north where you belong. We will bring England of you. Come on, food's getting cold.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Best not Nothing to draw attention here.
out. Get the light.
You have earned a long rest. Thank you, beautiful Galmina. So firm is your loyalty. None know me as well as you do. Thank you, Lord. It is now time for your bath. May I wash you? Yes, good, good. There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? Your Elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable, until he slipped away. Why has your Elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate, Humboldt, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunbold will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I'm a Dane, not a cruel griefmonger.
Keep going. Eivor, what news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... he... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! He's been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here. And it falls to King Cheowulf to make that choice. For once we find agreement, Eivor. The nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your shire mood. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunbold dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunbald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor. A word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. Hunbiol's death an open secret. Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her. Best of luck at the coming Shire mood, Bishop. I would tell you my fate is in the hands of our Lord, but... ...somehow I believe that won't be the whole story. You fear something. I fear everything these days, in small doses. 
Give my best to Alfgar and Hunwald, should you see them. Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him.
instead of a Hoonwald. I can't even properly say the name. Is it Hoonwald or Hunwald? Mistake! I've told you my name is not Hoonwald, it's Roderick! And I've told you... <laughs> what concern is this to you, heathen? That is not Hoonwald. Why don't you let us decide? <laughs> There is a bounty out on Hunwald. Oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. Do you know him? I do. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday. That must be the tree Archer mentioned. Humboldt may be nearby. These woods, Father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. Here, upon this spot. Ducky. <laughs> uh, hello? Eivor? Is that you? Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Humboldt. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Commentate. Collect yourself, Humboldt. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who would pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. 
but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch them. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but... A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeoth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A white old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should... Visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the conscience of your gut. Now come. ...and enjoy the splendor of my Shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? Ah. Uh. You can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh. Quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from pit to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. This land, my friend. Hang on. I don't fight, Hoodwolf. Now. Come on! 
That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, someone in Mercia wants you dead. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. But... Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must say for myself. Hundval, I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. 
I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. Hello and welcome. They always bring the strangest things. This could be very useful. Seems like you're expecting trouble. have an eye for craftsmanship. This is the current fashion. Nothing else? I will see you... What can I get for you? You never know when this might come in handy. Wise of you to stock up. could help you in your travels. 
This is a very good piece. All done. I have to... Today might be your lucky day, Dick. Oh, luck. Have a seat. Let's do this. You are any. Interesting. This will do.
This will do. Got you now. The gods fade. Another time, perhaps. This giant spawn is dying.
Thank <laughs> you. 
cannot let this abomination live. The murder and heathen! Eivor, I'm pleased you came.
Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. Great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it. 
if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire, though it's lying. Continue. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your... Uh... Your thunder god, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals... Are we hunting, Alfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's lair should be nearby. Ah! My old friend Grimm! How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. I'm Norse, actually. Something you might learn by asking. Well met, Grim. Glad to have you along. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. That's not a bear. Wolves. something you'll want to see here. Is that... that smoke? My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! Not sure puny Mercians don't frighten me! Oh. Uh, uh. 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 
Someone waited until you were awake to the world of flame. Men who would see you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Moat will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Away, beast! Away! You won't trouble me any longer! Elfgar! Careful! There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant!
Go away. Hey! Knock the idiot down. I'll stage your one too, brother. Keep your eyes open. Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership. Not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Thank you. 
Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Good evening, Alfgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say, unreservedly, that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Bishop, Eivor. I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you. For what it's worth. God go with you. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Elfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Humboldt is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. Humboldt is not both go alone. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan.
It is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best for each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Teowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Teowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Three men. Which of these? It's not for my All three. The bishop can be. Herabred it will be. He knows what it means to lead, and he'll carry on with no trouble. Lord God, through his infinite grace and mystery, has spoken, and he has spoken with a ringing voice. The Bishop Herathrib shall be Lincolnshire's elderman. Thank you, one and all. God's blessing go with you. Psalm 78, 72. David shepherded his flock by the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skill of his hands. So I shall lead with heart and hand as one. God bless you all. Go easy on the mead, Lord. It's a long ride to Grimsby. I'm only sniffing it. I seem to have lost my thirst. This city, with these people, is not where you belong, Gunball. You're a Dane at heart. Go to Swanborough and live well. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Eivor. We'll speak again soon. I have an alliance to secure. have gifted me a great honor, one I hope I can repay. One you must repay, as our tradition demands. 
Name your need. I want your holy word that Lincolnshire will be a friend to the Raven Clan through the thickest and darkest of troubles. Yes, of course. I've no doubt we are friends, you and I, from this moment forward. Only call, and I shall come. Thank you, Bishop. Take care of your sheep. And shear that one from time to time, for his own good. Others. I applaud your judgment, and thank the Lord he saw fit to clear the clouds of doubt from your mind. You could just give me the credit for how I cast my vote. I didn't see your guard pick up a voting stone. But he has not cured you of your heathenism, I see. These things are sent to try us, I suppose. Which of these? It's not for myself. You can never be. All three have. Though tinged with arrogance, Elfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I choose Elfgar. He is sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new elderman is Lord Algar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your elderman, I will work to better this shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our king. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. 
it now falls to our newly anointed King Teowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Teowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Your troubles begin early, Elfgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The grief tusser can't have gone far. Race afeard and march against what men he has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. The Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Herefrith, the bog rat, the shit eater. The devil has him, that's plain to see. Bloody murderer! Oh, Shire! What remains? My heaven waits.
The first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As for you... This area is off limits. Yes, all right. Look here. This spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know.
Such carnage I've never seen! That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I've gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp, then, and onward to Anacastra. Follow, if you will. Herebrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herebrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. You're cr If a little soft, but stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. See, bishop, worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and her every... Herebrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? 
It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Perifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be vi Our camp is just here. When the feared is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Herefrith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. Who's fetching the turf this time, eh? Don't want to freeze to death here. Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted oh. bishop must pay the devil his due. A bold attack, and in broad daylight. The hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor. Can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we'll claim victory. Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Hmm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Thank <laughs> you. 
anyone else need die today? He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scoutless coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Attack way motor road way Christy Peter. You want a pike? I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it.
Eivor, you fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herifrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. You're a good fit for Elderman, Elfgard. Just make sure you put the Shire's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people. It's a shame Hunwald was not fit to darn his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and... ...you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... ...well... ...could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her... ...and to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunbold, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news.
Do you see? Need your eyes, my friend. Feel great.
Sunan, guide me. Someone there? Strange. I'm not the one true king of Briars. Yet here I sit. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! Stronger already.
Even when Dog was younger, he had a streak in him. Hate to see it go that way. But you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? What have you got for me? Ready for battle. I must be well, my friend. While you were away, your Joms Vikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I must take my leave. So long. Let's see you. I've been working on some designs. May I see you? Nothing more? I'm off. Be well, friend. A good day to you. Than be one of us? Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthman? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. What did and the Eivor? Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? Alfgar is now Elderman of Lincolnshire. I believe he will be a good friend to our clan. Good. I hope he is a man we can trust. I want to see the Alliance map.
Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. I should go. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. The message has come. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. I do not have the time right now, but... I will return. Impressive. Never seen anything like it.
Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. I would like to see what you have in stock. Uh, nothing else? I have something that may interest you. <laughs> I'm looking for this. I could really use this. This will be a great help. We always have need for this. Excellent. I'd pay well for this. Good. This will help the settlement. Bringing me this would be helpful. Done for now. I will see you later, friend. Until next time. Rowan. Ah, Evor. I'm well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthban? Guthban? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It is not a question of should. Ah. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, uh... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It, it's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. Eivor... Got some new things in. What have you got for me today? All done? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Nothing more today. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. Octavian. Ah, salve, Evo. Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthban mean anything to you? Guthban? Hmm. It's not Latin. It is a name, I think. But no face comes to mind. <laughs> so you came to me? Why would you come to me about a false name? No. Is it? I am Octavian. I've always been Octavian. Uh, now, please, Evo, this is not a good time for me. I... Ah, Eivor. I must take my leave. Die, Dulci Fruamini! Be my eyes, Sunan.
Tarbin. Do you have us? I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another... I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made... I swore never to spill another drop of blood. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't. Not for me. This life here is all I have ever won. This is my doing. I brought all the... Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not... Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. Very well. Have a look, Sunin. Eivor. Humwald, Swanborough. And you, Eivor. Ah, oh, it is good to see this place again after... S I find such an easy joy here. That joy will last right up until... M my first... what? Later, my friend. Take a look at the new maps I made. I would like to see what... That's it? I have... A good day to you. I have to go. Then go in peace.
Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. Men like dog little... What do you have to... Have you got a contract for me? My agents are... Remember, this person needs to be with yours. I'm off. So long. <laughs>